In this video, you are going to learn how to effectively use Canvas. Let's start with the dashboard. The dashboard is where all your courses you have signed up for will be visible. We can see that I am currently signed up for AP Government and AP Macroeconomics. The courses you are signed up for are called course cards. Course cards can contain assignments, discussions, and files. This is the global navigation bar. This means it will be visible on every page regardless of what you click on. Here we see our to-do list, assignments that are coming up, and any recent feedback. Let's click on a course card to see what the courses actually look like. In the center we see what are called modules. Modules are a way for your teacher to organize their content, which can be done in various ways, such as by week, unit, chapter, and so on. If we click a module, we can see the attachments or assignments the teacher has added. Let's click on the top attachment. Here, we can see the teacher has added a PowerPoint. Once we have thoroughly read the PowerPoint, we can click Next to progress to the next attachment. For now, let's go back to the course home screen. Next, let's take a look at assignments. Here, we can view assignments by date, which is helpful if you want to know which assignments are due first and prioritize accordingly. However, we can also view assignments by type, which is useful if you would like to focus on grades that are weighted more. For instance, if I want to focus on major grades, which are worth 60% of my grade, I might use this feature instead of the Show by Date feature. Since there are a few different types of assignments, let's look at how to properly submit each one. Let's start with this discussion assignment. Carefully read the question and then follow any of your teacher's instructions. When you are ready to begin the discussion, click Reply. Then, type your comments here. When you are done, click Post Reply. Next, let's look at what an assignment looks like and how to submit it. Let's look at this assignment. Here, we can see when the assignment is due, how many points it is worth, how we are turning our assignment in, how long it will be available, and the teacher's instructions. Once our assignment is ready for submission, let's click Submit Assignment. Then, you would upload the appropriate file from your computer or Google Drive, add any comments, and then click Submit Assignment. Lastly, Let's see what a test looks like by clicking here. We can see the due date, points the test is worth, how many questions there are, and the time limit. Let's click Take the Quiz to see what a quiz in Canvas looks like. This particular quiz is a multiple choice quiz. Notice that we can see the number of questions here as well as how much time we have left. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, once we have answered all these multiple choice questions, we can see that there is a free response essay question. Once we have answered the essay question, we can click Submit Quiz. Now that we are familiar with navigating assignments, let's click Grades. This is where you find your grades for a specific course. If you would like to see your grades for another course, click the Course drop-down, select the course you want to see your grades for, and then click Apply. We'll stick with our original course, so let's go back. Once grades are input by your teacher, your overall grade will appear here.
Notice that you can see assignment categories and their percentage weights here. If you hover over an assignment, it will let you know what group it is in. One useful tool is the score column. This allows you to enter a what-if score to see what your overall grade would be. Let's try it out. These what-if scores allow you to see what your grade would be if you made a certain score. In this case, this tool would let you know that you could expect an 85. Next, let's click Calendar. The Calendar tool is especially helpful since it visually shows you when assignments are due for all of your classes. If you see an assignment you want to do first, you can click on it, and it will tell you the title, due date, and any additional details your teacher chooses to provide. If you want to do the assignment now, you can simply click on the title of the assignment. Finally, let's click Inbox. Your inbox is where you will send and receive messages between your teacher and or classmates. To compose a message, click here. Then, select the course, identify who the message is to, type a subject, and then compose your message. When you are ready, click send. Remember, to get to the home screen, click Dashboard. And there you have it. You are now successfully equipped to effectively use Canvas.